Hello everyone, it's Succulents Box. Today we have some helpful tips on caring for a succulent in a pot with no drainage. Succulents generally require less water than most plants, so a pot with good drainage is always recommended. But let's see what we can do if you can't find one. First, let's consider pot material. Breathable materials like terracotta or clay allow water to evaporate faster, so they're perfect for growing succulents and cacti. Glass containers or terrariums can add a unique look to your succulent collection as well. However, glass can be suffocating on its own, so be sure there's plenty of airflow for your succulents. Next, we'll prepare a proper soil mix. A porous potting medium is crucial to prevent root rot and improve drainage, which is even more important in a no-drainage pot. First, add a layer of pebbles or gravel at the bottom of the pot. Materials like these will aid the water flow and keep the roots nice and healthy. This next step is totally optional, but to prevent algae buildup in the pot, add a layer of crushed charcoal on top of the gravel or pebbles. Finally, fill your pot with cactus mix or a mix of potting soil and perlite or pumice and plant your succulents. Our last set of tips are for watering your succulent. Watering in a no-drainage pot is trickier than usual, so you may want to invest in a moisture meter. Using a moisture meter is super simple. Just stick it in the soil and it'll tell you the exact moisture level on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being the most dry and 10 being the most wet. You should water your succulent when the scale reads between 1 and 2. If a moisture meter is unavailable to you, a chopstick or skewer can check your soil just as well. Stick the chopstick or skewer about 2 inches into the soil and wait for 3 to 5 minutes. If there's a watermark when you pull up, the soil is still moist. You can also control the amount of water you give your succulents with a syringe or a watering bottle or can with measurements on the side. Try to only water the top soil, which is about 2 to 3 inches deep. That's it for today. Good luck with your plants, and see you next time.